Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 1.2a of our arithmetic series. We're just going to be looking at the place value chart in this presentation. Then we're going to look at actual problem solving um, involving place values in section 1-2b. So what's illustrated here basically highlights what we're going to be covering. We're going to be looking at how to break down a specific number into its place values and identify the value of each digit based on its place value in expanded form with and without exponents. Um, there is a practice problem at the end of this tutorial that we'll like you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this presentation. To gain access to our entire collection of courses ranging from arithmetic, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, pre-calc, calc, take a look at the links in the description below. All right, the instructions for the problem we're about to do are as follows. We have to write the number name for 3257489. And then we have to fill the chart below by identifying the place value of each digit of this number. Then write the values of each digit and name an expanded form with and without exponents. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down this number um, in uh, in the, the name, as a number name first, okay? So the number name for this number right here is, so let's write the number three comma two five seven four eight nine. The number name is Three million okay that's the only digits in the millions place and then we're gonna go into the thousands place three million two hundred fifty seven thousand so that's all we have in the uh, thousand place 257,000 and then in the ones place we have 489 okay so 489 all right so if you wanted to say this number in its name form you just say 3,257,000 489 okay all right so now let's go ahead and uh, fill out this place value chart that we have right here using um, this number the digits of this number so if you want to do um, that you can pause the video at this time and go ahead and create this chart as um, illustrated here and then we can click on the playback button to follow um, us closely all right so let's go ahead and fill in the digits we're going to put in the digits right at the bottom here so we are we have one two three four five six seven digits so we have seven columns here one two three four five six seven okay so we have three i'm going to color code it so if you have colored pencils and you want to make your work look nice and pretty you can uh, make use of that all right so i'm gonna write it nice and big three and then two five seven oh, wrong color let's use red for that two five seven three million two hundred fifty seven thousand and then in the ones period we have four hundred eighty nine Bam. Okay. And then let's put in the commas. You have a comma here. You have a comma here. And right here is your decimal point. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and start out by naming the place value from each for each digit. Okay. So what you want to keep in mind is that uh, let's start from the ones period here. If this first three digits to the left of the decimal points these are the ones period alrighty so what are they starting from here this is ones place next is the tens place and then the next is the hundreds place hundreds okay it's difficult writing sideways so 
Anyway, something you want to keep in mind is that while you advance from each place to the left, you always multiply by 10 to the first power, okay? So just to illustrate, for example, if you go from the ones place to the tens place, you multiply by 10 to the first power. So every place you move from left, from right to left, sorry, or towards the front of the number, you multiply by 10 to the first power. If you move two places, guess what? You multiply by 10 to the second power. So the number of places you move to the left illustrates how many times you multiply by 10, okay? And then we all know that repeated multiplication can be written in condensed form using the exponential notation. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. All right, so that's the place values for the ones period and then let's move on to the next period after the ones every three you go to the next period right so after the ones period we have what we have the thousands period thousands period all right and then in the thousands period we're just going to have this hundreds tens and ones but as multiple of thousands all right so here we're going to have for the seven is one thousands all right and then next we have tens tens what thousands since we're in a thousands period and then lastly we have hundred thousands okay now the last one we have, we just have one digit in the next period, which is the millions period. Um, so that's why I placed it like this, but there are actually three here, but we just need only one, okay? So it's kind of cut off a little bit. So that's why our table looks like this. So the last period is the millions period, millions. All right, and then we just follow the same pattern ones and that period so we're just gonna have here we just have one millions place this is the one millions place hundred thousands ten thousands one thousands hundreds tens ones and then right here this is our decimal place right here okay that's our reference point so let me write it again my um writing tablet is not cooperating so going straight down this is our decimal all right, so now we're going to go ahead and start to examine each digit. All right, considering this place, we're going to um, identify the value of that digit and then write it in um, expanded form with and without exponents. Let us start off with nine. This is in one's place. This right here in the name form is just nine. In the symbolic form, considering its place is just nine. Uh, how do we write this? Uh, in expanded form it's just nine times one okay if we want to write it as exponents is nine times ten to the zeroth power okay remember anytime you raise a non-zero number to the zeroth power is just one okay moving along to the next place the tens place all right so here this number eight in the tens place the name is 80 all right and then in symbolic form is eight zero as a number if we want to write it in expanded form without exponents is eight times ten and then with as a expanded form with exponents is eight times ten to the first power okay now let's move on to the next place hundreds we have four in the hundreds place so what is the value of this going to be is going to be Four hundred. Okay, in numerical form is four hundred. Um, in expanded form is four times. We're in the hundreds place, so four times one hundred. You see how the number of zeros are increasing? Okay, start with no zeros, zero zeros, and then we have one zero, and then we have two zeros now. If we want to write this as exponent, in expanded form is four times ten to the second power. 
all right if you have difficulty with how this conversion is working um feel free to take a look at uh, tutorial 1.1 where we go went over the powers of 10 uh to refresh your memory on how to write this number in expanded form with and without exponents all right let's move on to the thousands period we have seven in the one thousands place so what is that going to be that is going to be seven thousand seven thousand all right so write out in numerical form is seven thousand we want to write it in expanded form without exponents is seven times what one thousand and then uh, using exponents is going to be 7 times 10 raised to the what? Since there are three zeros, 7 times 10 to the third. We went over this in lesson 1.1. 5 in the 10 thousandths place is going to be, um, so I put 10 thousandths, so it was be 10 thousandths. All right, 5 in the 10 thousandths place is going to be um, 50 thousand. 50,000. All right, when we write it in numerical form, it's 50,000. In expanded form, it's 5 times 10,000. Remember, we're in the 10,000 place. And then using exponents, the expanded form is 5 times 10 to the what? We have four zeros, bam, just like that. Moving along, the hundred thousandths place, we have a two there. So what is this going to be? This number is 200,000. So it's 200, 200,000. All right. Um, so if you want to write it in numerical form, it's 200 comma thousand. If you want to write it in expanded form without exponent, it's two times 10 to the what? We have five zeros. I'm sorry, two times 100,000. That's what it is. Two times 100,000. And in an exponent form is two times 10 to the fifth power. All right. Okay, one more. The last one is we have a three in the one millionth place. So what is this going to be? This number right here is three million. Three million. In number form, it's three million. One, two, three. One, two, three. How do you write this in expanded form without exponents? Is three times one million. One, two, three, one, two, three. How do you write three million using exponents? Is gonna be three times 10 to the what? There's six zeros, three times 10 to the sixth power. All right, so our tables have been filled out completely and then we've been able to identify the value of each digit based on its um, place value writing it in name, numerical, expanded form, with and without exponents. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it is now your turn to um, go ahead and try to practice problem. Remember, if there's anything you do not understand, feel free to ask your teacher, Mrs. E, or you can just uh, post a comment, a question in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to support you. All right, so here is a practice problem that we'll like you to try out exactly what we um, did before. All right, so for this practice problem that we'll like you to try out, you have to write the number name for 37456891. You're then to fill the chart as we did in the example we just went over by identifying the place value of each digit, then write the values of each digit and name numeric and expanded form with and without exponents. So the way that this chart is set up is designed to make it possible for you to uh, fill each, each um, place value correctly without much complication. So go ahead and pause the video at this time and solve the problem completely. 
When you're done, click on the playback button and we are going to reveal what the answer is to um, this tryout problem is. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video at this time and try it out. Alrighty, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try out the practice problems. So here are the solutions to the table. Let me scroll down a little bit so you can see. So there goes the name form for the number. You can pause it and check your work. I'm going to go ahead and scroll it down so you can see the place values and what each one represents in name form, expanded form with and without exponents. All right, so let us know how well you did with this table. If there are any questions that you have, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I just ask your teacher and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of place values, give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to gain access to a wide variety of support resources for your math learning. You can visit our website at mathgoodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.